Hey everyone, this is Sam with Team Forflight, back with part 2 in our video series on using Forflight Manage, the online account management tool that can be accessed by logging into your account from Forflight's homepage. Now that we've looked at account and subscription, we can move to the Documents page, from which you can set up a folder that will appear in the Documents catalog in Forflight Mobile, allowing you to sync your own documents to the app. There are some good instructions here for how to set up the folder, but I'll run through the process just to give an example. The name of my folders it will appear in the app will be TOW, and I'll be using Dropbox to add it. When I click Create, I'm asked for a confirmation that I want to allow Forflight to access its own folder in my Dropbox account. I click Allow, and the folder is set up. Now when I open Forflight Mobile and tap Catalog on the Documents page, I see the new folder displayed along with the others. Back on Forflight Manage, I can remove the new folder by clicking Unlink, and I can change the sharing options for the folder. These options only apply to multi-pilot accounts, so we'll go over them in more detail in the next video. Next up is the Devices page, where you can view and manage all the devices signed into your account. This page is especially useful if you want to know what iOS version your device has or what version of ForeFlight Mobile you have installed. You can remove a device from your account, which is the same as signing out inside the app, by clicking Remove. You can also export the entire table as a CSV, or Comma Separated Values file which can be viewed in a program such as Excel. This Add Compliance button is mainly for enterprise and military accounts, so we'll look at that in the next video. On the Comments page, you can view all the comments you've posted in the app, either general airport comments or comments on specific FBOs. You can remove a comment by clicking the Remove button. On the FlightAware page, if you have blocked your tail number with FlightAware, you can link your ForeFlight account with your FlightAware account to receive flight notifications from FlightAware in-app. Clicking Link FlightAware will take you to a FlightAware page where you can confirm the linkage. You may need to sign in to your FlightAware account if you're not already. Once your accounts are linked, you can unlink them by clicking the Unlink button and confirming. Lastly, on the Track Log page you can view all the track logs you've recorded in ForeFlight Mobile and uploaded to ForeFlight.com, which can be done in-app by tapping the blue Up Arrow button next to a track log. You can download each track log in a number of different formats. KML is a file type used by programs such as Google Earth and Google Maps to store and display geographic information. GPX is a similar file type that stores coordinate information. And CSV, as mentioned before, can be viewed in programs like Excel. You can click View to see the track on a map, and you can change the base map with the button in the upper left corner of the map. That's it for part 2 in our series on ForeFlight Manage. Be sure to watch the first video if you haven't already, and feel free to email any questions you have to team at foreflight.com.